journey should cure your romantic notions of the Moroccan desert, my dear. Nothing could do that. Remember, I was in love with the desert long before I became an ambassador's wife. Captain Carlos de Largo, the Sultan's guard. At your service. Your Sultan shall hear of this outrage. A thousand pardons, but we've been hunting these brigands for two days. It's unfortunate they found your caravan before we found them. No doubt. I am Don Philippe Castro, the Mandaran ambassador, traveling to the Sultan's encampment with my wife, Donna Dolores. I'll leave a guard to escort your excellency while we finish our business with the brigands. I hope your excellency will not think too badly of our hospitality after the uh, unfortunate reception this afternoon. As an ambassador, your majesty, I've learned never to judge a country by its brigands. I found the raid quite exciting. My wife spent several years in Tangiers, your majesty. She finds everything about the desert exciting. If your majesty will excuse me, I should like to change for dinner. The young officer who rescued us, has he served Your Majesty a long while? Not long, but very well. Uh, Captain De Lago's family came from your country, but you perhaps know their history. The story of De Lago's father, a lieutenant of the guard, carrying off the sister of the king, is a page in Mandoran royal history that we strive to forget, Your Majesty. Their exile proved to be Morocco's gain. Young De Lago is one of my most skillful and courageous officers. Was Captain DeLago ever stationed in Tangiers? Yes, a year or two ago. Why do you ask? Uh, Captain DeLago, Your Majesty. Abdul Ben Mustafa and his brigands are dead, Your Majesty. They refused capture, choosing to fight to the end. Praise Allah. <laughs> you have done well, Carlos. Perhaps you'll join us at supper, since you already know my guests. By all means, Captain. We should like to know our rescuer better. If Your Majesty will accept my regrets, I have reports to be written. As you wish, Carlos.
Your Excellency, I've had but little news from your country in recent months. Has there been sufficient rain this season? Oh, I should say the normal amount. Carlos. You know, the wife of an ambassador should know better than to enter a captain's quarters without the proper diplomatic formalities. At least a ten-gun salute. I've dispensed with the formalities, Carlos, since nobody's watching us now. Then you won't mind if I finish dressing. Have you been in the desert so long you're afraid of the sight of a woman? <laughs> uh, shall we say, when the woman is married? The marriage changed only my name. I'll admit your appearance hasn't suffered at all. That same lovely face, with large eyes, loaded weapons that just shouldn't be left lying about. You know the only reason I'm here, the chance to see you again. I tried to get you out of my mind. To forget the feeling of your arms about me. You know, Dolores, this isn't a very good way to make yourself forget. You never disappoint me, Dolores. Your past always seems to provide you with charming companions. At least I find them more entertaining than you and your endless jealousy. As for you, Delargo, I was curious to see if the royal blood still showed through the coarser mixture. Yes. There's a distinct family resemblance to our King Lorenzo. But crude, of course, like a bad counterfeit coin. I appreciate your sense of humor, Your Excellency. But the Sultan hates to have his guests be late for dinner. Your concern with etiquette seems somewhat belated, Captain. And since this woman seems to prefer your company, she should have this likeness. It's the usual payment for indiscretion. The brigands of your desert could learn from you, Captain. They rob only caravans. My thanks for the compliment. But a brigand is clever enough to know that swords are sharper than words. I need no advice from the son of a mongrel. Kill him, Carlos. Chosen the weapons, John Castro. I'm sorry, Your Excellency. His Majesty is occupied and wishes not to be disturbed. I can hear that he is. born a king. My dancing's a more recent accomplishment. <laughs>
Your Majesty. No, Triano, not now. <laughs> Can't you see how busy I am? You know, there are few dances more difficult than the warrior. You would never find this in your portfolio, Triano. This is not a dance of diplomacy. Very interesting. But unfortunately, this interruption is very necessary. If the Countess will pardon us, there are certain documents that... Uh... Of course, Your Excellency. How shall I ever be ready to dance the Waria tonight if you persist in harassing me with your eternal documents? As your Prime Minister, sir. I know, I know. You compose all my documents, Triano. <laughs> but you would double your value if you could also relieve me of signing them. Forgery is not among my accomplishments, Your Majesty. The matter that brought me cannot be solved by a signature. Huh? Now what? The prisoner, Carlos DeLargo. I'm afraid it was a grave error to extradite him for trial here in Mandora. Well, since DeLargo murdered the ambassador, we had no other choice. Do you suggest we should have left him in Morocco? If we had, sire, Prince Ramon would have lost no time in spreading word that Castro's killer had gone unpunished. Mm. Yes, my ambitious royal cousin would relish that chance. But he'll not have it since DeLargo will be tried. Your Majesty will realize that is impossible when you see DeLargo for yourself. <laughs> I haven't the slightest intention of seeing him. I urge it, sire. Unless Your Majesty is prepared to suffer the embarrassment of seeing himself in the prisoner's dock, I've had DeLargo brought secretly to the palace. With your permission, sire. Bring in the prisoner, Captain Ruiz. Resemblance was noted even when DeLargo was taken into prison. Some thought at first they were seeing your majesty. <laughs> I'm flattered. The resemblance was neither of my choosing nor to my liking. A man of spirit, the true DeLargo. A name that must trouble your majesty's conscience. <laughs> it was my father's royal blood pressure that was troubled by the name DeLargo. <laughs> Confidentially. I've rather admired the daring of the soldier bold enough to carry off a princess. I myself have never considered the marriage of my parents a criminal offense. Hmm. <laughs> it would be a shame to see the result of such a romance end on a hangman's rope. Then you agree, sire, it would be most embarrassing to allow your likeness to stand trial for murder. Hmm. Unthinkable, but what can you suggest, Triano? That we allow ourselves to be influenced by this letter from the Sultan of Morocco. He urges clemency for Delarge. With the shadow of Napoleon on our border, it is wisdom to retain the Sultan's friendship. I can assure your majesty, the Sultan's friends fare better than his enemies. <laughs> Hear that, Triano? <laughs> DeLargo has a flair for statesmanship also. <laughs> hmm. Return him to prison and announce a date for his trial. But your majesty just said but that. We cannot try an escaped prisoner. Especially one who has safely reached, let us say, uh, Portugal. <laughs> <laughs> Ruiz, arrange it. <clears throat> I wish there'd been time to know you better, DeLargo. Your life must have been even more interesting than mine. I'm grateful to Your Majesty for prolonging it. Mm, you should be. I understand the women of Portugal are really exceptional. My thanks for the opportunity to verify that rumor. I shall inform your royal cousin, Ramon, that the murder of his friend Castro will be tried in a week. And now, back to more important matters. Come, Flora, my dancing. <laughs> I want history to remember me for some worthy accomplishment. <laughs> Perhaps you'll become known as Lorenzo the Graceful. <laughs> a little high, Prince Remo. <laughs> the ambassador of Napoleon should admire a bold aim. <laughs> Bullseye. You see no cause for alarm. You will forgive me if I am a realist who faces facts. 
unpleasant facts, like the new alliance which Triano has arranged with your royal cousin and the Princess of Corona. You may inform your emperor that the marriage between Lorenzo and the princess will never take place. Your highness is serious. You have heard that there is to be a royal hunt tomorrow morning? Of course. But you will pardon me, I have no interest in outdoor sports. <laughs> oh, you should have, monsieur. Shouldn't he, Major? Since the French ambassador won't be at the hunt tomorrow, perhaps we could give him a demonstration of one of the guns now. A very good idea. <laughs> By its crest, this gun is his majesty's. No, that is an exact duplicate. This is Lorenzo's gun. Hmm, so it appears. But I hardly see what a shotgun has to do with preventing a dangerous alliance. <laughs> you will in a moment. Major, uh, stand aside, gentlemen. Now, let us suppose that a Lorenzo is aiming at a pheasant tomorrow morning. So you see, monsieur, the alliance with Karuna can be blasted by one single shot. Magnificent. Have you ever seen anything like this, Carlo? I heard once of a similar weapon used in Spain. It was a most successful assassination. Please, Carnot, not assassination. <laughs> Let us call it a uh, prearranged accident. And the throne of Mandora will be empty for our good friend. Get rid of this, Major. Yes, Your Highness. Now we'll see that the royal gun bearers find our gun loaded and waiting to be placed in Lorenzo's hands. May I offer the congratulations of my emperor? to the next king. I hope you can also promise me Napoleon's support. You have it already, Your Majesty. Majesty. I like the sound of that word. Majesty. Come, we must dress for the royal hunt supper tonight. It would be a shame to be late for Lorenzo's last dinner party. Yes. <laughs> Come. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Since our supper honors the spirit of the hunt, we should not end it without a test of hunter's skill. Your arrows against this royal bird. No, my dear. It would be unsporting to shoot a bird in the hand. I find it more desirable to capture this bird than to kill it. <laughs> Musicians, the warrior. The hunters, dance.
They seem to enjoy our dancing. <laughs> what a pity. My other duties prevent our touring the capitals of Europe. <laughs> Shall uh, we divide the spoils, my love? First, the Countess Flora. A small token of admiration from pupil to teacher. Oh. Oh, it's beautiful, Lorenzo. Not beautiful enough. And for my uh, princely cousin. A crown? <laughs> oh, why not? Haven't you always wanted one? <laughs> <laughs> and for you, monsieur. Since Napoleon is so fond of artillery, his ambassador should appreciate a small addition. Your majesty is too kind. And you see, you don't point it in my direction. As a diplomat, I prefer treaties to cannon. Uh, distribute the other gifts. <clears throat> Here comes Triano without portfolio. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Triano, don't tell me you've deserted the ink pots for the flesh pots. I'm sorry to have to interrupt the hunch supper. Then perhaps the prime minister will join us? Unfortunately, that pleasure is denied me by a matter of state which requires that I see Your Majesty at once, in private. Tomorrow for business, tonight uh, for pleasure. <laughs> this matter cannot wait, sire. Well, then tell it here. You know it's useless to keep secrets from my friends and uh, <laughs> the ear of Napoleon. The Princess Teresa of Corona will arrive here on the day after tomorrow. So I thought Your Majesty should lose no time in announcing the betrothal ceremony. Announce it for any date you choose. <clears throat> May I offer my congratulations? <laughs> Congratulate Triara. I'm marrying only a political necessity. You know, I'm surprised she even accepted. Her Royal Highness is a princess, reared to serve the best interests of her country. A toast. Since we here tonight are more interested in pheasants than we are in princesses, I drink to the hunt. Uh, may it be as successful as Chano's new alliance. Very dangerous to leave my party, my love. Don't you realize I could have you shot for desertion? I had a headache. Was your headache the princess? Lorenzo, you've always been able to read my mind. This time it's full of foolishness. Besides, you have my heart. Can I be sure, Lorenzo? You will be when I have it inscribed with just two words. Semper tuus. Meaning? Forever yours. Semper tuus. I like those words. Feel for a rough shoot, my friends. <clears throat> will you risk your laurels today, Ramon, with the gold piece on the first bird? Your Majesty will lose that bet. <laughs> a shot. Another flight coming, Lorenzo. Your shot, Ramon, they're right above you. <laughs> I 
You must be nervous, cousin. I've never seen you miss so close a target before. My sights seem to need adjusting. Well, here, then, take my gun. The bearer can bring me another. No, no, thanks. I'll try mine a little further. <laughs> May cost you that wager. Your shot, Lorenzo. <laughs> Is not with your highness? No, he hasn't been for the last few minutes. Perhaps he packed the bird. I heard a shot. Yes, I heard it too. Majesty has lost a lot of blood. No wonder from the size of this shot. Did your excellency notice anything unusual about the gun? Loosened at the breech. Heavy wadding in the barrel, and Prince Raymond is a hunting companion. This was no accident. Dr. Lopez, will his majesty live? I believe the king's life is safe. He may, however, remain unconscious for hours. Complete recovery may take weeks. Weeks? The princess of Corona arrives tomorrow. You said no one saw you find the king. I took no chance of that, Excellency. Very wise of you. His Majesty's true condition must not become known. If it were learned Lorenzo is incapable of acting for himself, Prince Raymond would be entitled to assume the king's duties. Your Excellency. What is it? Prince Raymond and the French ambassador are in the study and request an audience with His Majesty. The vultures gather fast. What will you do, Excellency? Delay them as long as I can. Assistance, gentlemen. His Majesty neglected to pay me a small wager due to his rather sudden disappearance this afternoon. The King suffered a slight hunting accident. Accident? Chan, I didn't know I should go right in. I'm afraid, Your Highness, that is impossible. Dr. Lopez has administered a sedative and insists that His Majesty have complete rest. What tragic news for you, my friend, with the Princess arriving tomorrow. Then perhaps you'll require my assistance as next in line to the throne. Unless, of course, this accident is not serious. How serious is it, my friend? I'm not a physician, Monsieur de la Force. But I have some knowledge of firearms. Don't you think it unusual for a gun to fire backwards? A faulty charge, perhaps. Perhaps. Or possibly a deliberately planned attempt at assassination. Well, that's ridiculous. Perhaps Your Highness would care to examine the gun. I'd like the opinion of an expert hunter. I find nothing wrong with it. You're quite sure? I'd stake my life on it. Would you? Then since the other barrel is still loaded, why not uh, fire it out the window, Your Highness? That would prove my suspicions are unfounded. Of course. Channel, as heir to the throne, do you think I should take a personal risk? I'm sure your highness knows best. 
I shall expect hourly reports from you of His Majesty's condition. If there should be any turn for the worse, well, I'm prepared to take His Majesty's place at once. I trust that may not be necessary. Of course. Dr. Lopez, His Majesty must be at that reception, or Ramon will smash our alliance before it's made. But it, it's impossible. Your Excellency must be mad. If I am mad, it is with a last frenzy to save our country. Where's Carlos DeLago? DeLago? He left by coach three hours ago. Take the fastest horse in the stables, Captain, and bring DeLago back. I'm afraid it's too late. You must overtake him. Still unconscious. No news from Ruiz yet? If Delago has reached the port of Spain, Ruiz will never find him. Your Excellency, an outrider reports the royal coach of Caruna, eight kilometers from the palace. The princess will arrive hours earlier than expected. Isabella, put down that English novel before you ruin your eyes. Oh, but your royal highness, he was just about to kiss her on page 100. And he doesn't sound so impetuous. I'm sure King Lorenzo could do much better. Oh, yes. Even in the picture of his majesty, one can see he has the burning eyes of a great lover. Court gossip, they burn in only one direction. Oh, surely your highness can't believe it. an ugly rumor. On the contrary, Isabella. They say that this one is very beautiful. May I present the king's cousin, Prince Ramon? Welcome to Mandor, Your Highness. It's unfortunate the pleasure of your arrival must be shadowed by the dismal news of... Dismal news? His Majesty suffered an untimely hunting accident. Not a serious accident. I trust it may not cause him to be absent from your reception this evening. I want to assure the Princess that the reception will be held nevertheless. I am prepared to preside in the King's place. Uh, your Highness. friend Delago. Where? Your passport's been revoked. You're returning with me. Returning? But, Captain, you yourself heard His Majesty assign me to a mission of investigation of Portugal. 
I'm afraid the ladies of Lisbon will have to get on without you, just for a few days. Back to the palace, driver. You know, this is the shortest trip to Portugal I've ever made. that we've had no word of the king's condition. Perhaps it's a hopeful sign that he will still be able to appear, Your Highness. I trust you ladies will not be too disappointed. My assuming the king's duties will naturally include making your visit here as enjoyable as possible. Now the hair. Part on the left side. Thank you. No, Carlos, Your Majesty never thanks anyone. And Your Majesty never likes his own cigar. I can't remember everything. It's hopeless. I'm willing to do it, but this is sheer madness, Triano. I can never carry it off. He's right, Excellency. It took Lorenzo 30 years to become himself. How can Carlos do it in 30 minutes? He can because he must. Ramon is already assuming the king's duties. If he prevents the alliance with Karuna, Napoleon's legions can overrun us in a week. A king's habits, people court it. I get a thousand details to remember. How can it be possible? You've only to get through tonight and the betrothal tomorrow. Yes, but the princess surely will not be deceived for long. Her Highness has never seen His Majesty. And I'll be at your side to prompt you with the others. His Excellency may need to be a ventriloquist. You mentioned a debt to the king. Will you forget it now? I must admit, your arguments are improving, Triano, but... And I must warn you, at the present time, the king's heart is only occupied by the Countess Flora who danced away into his affections from the cantinas of Barcelona. How blind can a man be? His Majesty has never been blind to beauty. I still feel much safer among the brigands of Morocco than before the eyes of this court. Well, let's hope I'm lucky. If you're not, you'll have plenty of company on the gallows. Oh, with the bandage. It gives me great pleasure to present the Princess Teresa. The pleasure and honor is mine. I'm pleased to see Your Majesty's injury was not more serious. I would have risen from the grave to welcome Your Highness. I was beginning to believe you'd have to, cousin, judging by the secrecy concerning your state of health. <laughs> I didn't want to alarm you needlessly, Ramon. I suspect a more dishonorable motive th that you were trying to avoid paying off our wager. The wager? <laughs> My apologies, sire. His Majesty instructed me this morning to deliver your gold piece. My uh, memory failed me. Your Highness. Please be seated. The princess is waiting for your majesty to be seated. Hmm? Oh, for the 
princess, I dispense with ceremony. I hope your majesty's uh, injury is not giving you pain. It left me at once, at the sight of your highness. Ah, uh, Monsieur de la Force. Did you tell him the king never rises when he receives anyone? I can't think of everything. May I extend the compliments of Napoleon, sire? I assure you, I prefer Napoleon's compliments <laughs> to his condolences. May I express my great happiness over Your Majesty's swift recovery? Your solicitude is most warming, my dear Flora. I fear you'll aggravate your wounds with so much movement, sire. Stay seated. Your Majesty, we are honored by an unexpected visit from the Sultan of Morocco. The Sultan? His Majesty, the Sultan of Morocco. Sire, he must come to you. We are highly honored to welcome Your Majesty to Mandora. It's a very great pleasure to see you again, Lorenzo. Uh, Triano? Uh, but your arm, sire. Oh, <laughs> a lord of shot had the impertinence of mistaking me for a pheasant. And uh, what brings Your Majesty to Mandora at this time? A sudden decision on my way to Spain. To confer with you on behalf of a certain prisoner whose resemblance to Your Majesty has always amazed me. Oh, yes, the uh, prisoner de Largo. If Your Majesty will excuse me. The princess, sire. Hmm. Uh, this visit will also give Your Majesty the opportunity of meeting our future queen. Ladies and gentlemen, the king's toast. To her highness, the princess Teresa, whose beauty adds the fairest gem to the crown of Mandora. Dancing partner. Yes. Yes, she's very lovely, isn't she? I see Your Majesty prefers gardens to ballrooms. I've always found moonlight more friendly than chandeliers. Even a king should have a few moments alone with a woman who will share his life. The king forgets that our betrothal is only a matter of state. Arrange for the mutual security of our two countries. <laughs> Your lady-in-waiting warned me you'd sound like that. Like what? Like a stuffy prime minister and a council of state. 
Then perhaps Your Majesty made a poor choice for his moonlight stroll. You see, I've never been allowed to forget my obligations of state. Then it's high time you did, on the eve of our betrothal. Could you ever forget that you are a king? <laughs> you don't know how often a day I nearly did. You know, I came here thoroughly prepared to dislike you. Everything I'd heard gave me so different a picture of you. Now it's almost like finding another man. Have I disappointed you? You're hardly living up to the rumors and gossip of our court. And you're sounding less and less like a prime minister. I think we'd better be going in. Are you afraid the court will suspect the king is deeply attracted to the girl he's to marry? Surely the court by now is accustomed to the garden courtships of the king. But they're not aware that the Lorenzo in the garden tonight is, as you said, a different man. So different that all his affairs of the heart are ended? All but one. Which is just beginning. I speak the truth, Teresa, when I tell you that never before have I felt as I do now. The words are very warming to hear, Lorenzo. But I've had little experience in judging the honesty of such speeches. As a princess, surely you were reared never to doubt the word of a king. Are you speaking now as a king? Or as a man? safely moved to the old arsenal. Dr. Lopez reports no change in his condition. Ah, Triano, we've been consulting the stars. I have needed to consult your majesty. Forgive us, but there were so many stars. If I may have a word with your majesty. Will your highness promise not to vanish like Cinderella at midnight? If I do, I'll drop a slip for Your Majesty. You're looking very happy, Your Highness. Well, Triano, I hope I played my part well. Much too well. You overplayed it. That walk in the garden was completely out of the character of Lorenzo. It could give away our whole plan. But she's the girl Lorenzo is to marry. You cannot fall in love for another man, Carlos. Do you expect me to feel nothing for a girl like that? I expect you to remember you are Lorenzo, who considers the betrothal tomorrow only a political alliance. But the princess would prefer it otherwise. My boy. You will hurt her much more if you let her fall in love with you, and then marry Lorenzo. I'm sorry I stepped out of character. It won't happen again. Dancing partner, any man might equal a king. <laughs> no doubt, cousin. <clears throat> My dear Flora, I've been sadly neglectful. Oh, but I've understood perfectly. Your Majesty's attentions were absorbed by his obligations of state. But my obligations will not destroy all my pleasures, my love. And first among them is dancing with you.
Your Excellency will make my apologies to the king. We've had a rather long journey. I must retire. Of course, Your Highness. Tired? Of course not. The king's accident seems to have had a little effect on his dancing. A hole in the chest seems to have made him lighter on his feet. <laughs> the alarm gone. What? Nothing. Ah, uh, my countess. At last, our patience is richly rewarded. We had begun to fear that his majesty's admiration might imprison you for the whole evening. <laughs> countess. Johannes. The king was in exceptional spirits this evening. But then I don't suppose you asked me here to discuss Lorenzo. On the contrary, my dear, we didn't. I know how deeply attached you are to his majesty. My devotion to Lorenzo has never been a secret. Then it may relieve your concern over his attentions to the princess. To know that the man you saw was not Lorenzo. Surely you're not serious. Tonight, my dear, you danced to the man who was the image of Lorenzo, whom we are convinced is the prisoner de Lago, who is supposed to have escaped from his cell yesterday. I don't believe it. We have learned de Lago could not have escaped from his cell because he was never in it. His appearance was a chain of perfect coincidences forged by Triano to save the betrothal when Lorenzo's hunting accident prevented his appearance. Then what has happened to the king? Where is he? We can only learn the answer to that when we are sure de Lago has taken his place. Perhaps then he lead us to the king. And uh, who could find out better? than a woman who loves the king. Yes. Lorenzo. Some of my friends have very long titles, my dear, but I prefer saying good night to you last to assure your presence in my dreams. I feared someone else might have taken my place. <laughs> Impossible. My mind is a mirror that reflects only one face. The Princess Teresa has a very lovely face. <laughs> has she? Mm hmm. I uh, scarcely noticed. Are you sure, Lorenzo? Mm. If I didn't know you were as wise as you are beautiful, I'd say you were jealous. <laughs> Shouldn't they be? <laughs> Certainly not. We'll banish the thought now by royal decree. You are my Lorenzo. There'd be no doubt of that. When the betrothal is over and we vanish for a holiday. Ramon was wrong. <laughs> Ramon is always wrong. Why? He suspects you are actually the prisoner de Largo, impersonating the king. <laughs> 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 What an extraordinary idea. Yes. <laughs> Poor Ramon. You know, his ambitions must have twisted his senses. <laughs> but surely you could never be deceived. Of course not. I could never doubt you. With the inscription you put on the back of my pendant. Oh, but you have not yet had it inscribed. Why, oh, uh, <laughs> scarcely been time. I'll uh, have it done in the morning. <laughs> Tell me, Lorenzo, what will it say? The words? Uh huh. <laughs> Didn't I tell you? <laughs> Did you? What else could I say except, here is my love? Those are not the words Lorenzo meant to have inscribed in my pendant. 
Please, don't lie to me any longer. I know you're an imposter. Tell me, where is Lorenzo? I must know. I'm sorry, I can't answer that. You can't or you won't? Oh, then he was hurt badly in the hunting accident. Yes. But the accident was a deliberate assassination attempt by Prince Ramon. But His Majesty, is he safe? I know only there's a strong hope he'll recover. Where he is or how he is is not my power to tell. I'll believe you. I'll believe you because I know your own danger is Lorenzo's only protection. Ramon suspects you. Be careful. Be very careful. Flora. Yes? I think His Majesty might like you to keep this. Even without the inscription. Thank you. And you are sure, Flora, this man is Lorenzo? I'm positive. Then we were wrong, monsieur. Thank you, my dear. Oh, Flora, the wound from this accident, could you tell if it was serious? Well, you could see by his dancing this evening that it was not. I'm greatly relieved. Then the shot must have pierced only his arm and his elbow. Yes, his arm just above the elbow. I'm highly indebted to you. Good night, Your Highness. Good night, Flora. Monsieur. She was lying, of course. Of course. A woman in love. What can one expect? Who is it? Open in the name of pleasure. You, uh, caught me with my boots off, cousin. I'll let you in in a moment. I'm sorry we're so late. It's really your fault, cousin. Such popularity with the ladies. <laughs> well, with one at least. I'm glad you didn't stay any longer. Everyone's waiting for us. The bachelor dinner. It's been planned for weeks. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Did the wine of your reception dull your memory? Uh, only my capacity. I've uh, done quite enough one-handed drinking for one night. Uh, surely not enough for your last night of freedom. All the officers of your regiment are waiting for you to lead them with popping corks, aren't they, Major? <laughs> you, uh, you lead them in my place. I have to see uh, Triano again. Arrangements for the betrothal tomorrow. Uh, noblesse oblige, you know. Your Majesty will see Triano at the supper. He went ahead with Ruiz. He didn't mention it to me. Well, he knows your Majesty too well to have to remind you of the demands of pleasure. Come. I'd uh, prefer to... ...follow you there later. Where, um, where is it held, Ramon? At the hunting lodge, of course. Where we always do our evening hunting. <laughs> it would be much wiser for you to accompany me. In the interest of your own safety, of course. Your arguments are very impressive, General. <laughs> Major, His Majesty's cloak. Cousin? Picked a lively place for my bachelor supper, cousin. Well, at least the uh, occupants won't be disturbed, Your Majesty. <laughs> Are these uh, gentlemen ghosts or guests? Uh, my guests. Seize them. Enter the crypt. Promises to be a rather uncomfortable position. I trust my bachelor celebration won't take too long. We'll make it as brief as possible, sire, and much more to your liking if you answer a few questions. Where's the king? I'm the king, you fool. Then you should feel quite at home here, among your royal ancestors. <laughs> 
You heal with extraordinary swiftness, Your Majesty. Apparently, you haven't heard, cousin. My recuperative powers are legendary. Where is the king? You're the host of this party. You should know that yourself. Your royal appearance will be considerably altered, my friend, if you persist in this farce. Where is the king? Perhaps if you freed my arms, I could draw you a map. A careful, Shrock. If he's insensible, he can't answer my questions. When the time comes, I'll speak with my sword. Very brave, but not very wise. You must know by now you'll never keep the appointment for the betrothal tomorrow, so why prolong this party? Is Lorenzo alive or dead, Delargo? He insists on more persuasion. Do let me, Mr. Schrock. stubbornness, my friend, and you'll soon be in the same state as these royal gentlemen. <laughs> I'd find their company a decided improvement. My patience is wearing thin. One last time. Where is the king? Waiting to stretch your neck on the royal gallows, cousin. Revive him. speak for a while, Your Highness. Stay with His Majesty. Continue questioning when he revives. <laughs> I'm curious to see how Triano manages the betrothal ceremony without the bridegroom. Oh, it's so lovely, Your Highness. I know how pleased and proud His Majesty will be as pleased and proud as he was last night. I know he was a little uh, distracted, but today will be different. For a moment in the garden, I could have believed anything he said. I must have been blinded by moonlight. Oh, please, hold still, Your Highness, or the veil will be crooked. Oh, my good rewards. Your face wears the weight of the world this happy morning. Isn't Delargo dressed yet? Carlos has disappeared, Your Excellency. He's not in his room? He's nowhere in the palace. One of the gate guards thought he might have been in a closed carriage that bore Prince Ramon on a mysterious journey late last night. Ramon? Is he still gone? The prince returned at an early hour this morning. Alone. We have two hours until the betrothal ceremony. Find Delargo. If we do not have our king in the chapel, Corona will never go through with the alliance. Yes, Excellency, but to find a royal needle in a national haystack in two hours? Search every conceivable place Ramon could have taken him and report back to me by noon. Come, come, your uh, majesty. It's time you were waking up. Untie him. He can't talk if he dies. I'll get some water.
take her place here. And King will enter here. We will begin as soon as their majesties arrive. Yes, Your Excellency. Adriano. Are you uh, nervous, my friend? Some last-minute difficulties, perhaps? None that I'm aware of, Your Highness. No, I'm surprised. Since you must know by now that I hold your counterfeit king. I have no idea what Your Highness is talking about. <laughs> you know, I really admire him. He's so cool and confident in the face of disaster. Wouldn't it save you great embarrassment to admit now that your king will not appear? Pardon, Your Highness. No trace of Delargo, Excellency. Careful. They're watching us, Captain. We must still look confident. Shall I arrange a closed carriage for Your Excellency? This climate will become very unhealthy when Ramon makes his claim to the throne. Go to the Princess. Tell her there's a brief delay. We'll call her as soon as... Her Highness, the Princess Teresa of Corona. As heir to the throne, do you wish me to make some appropriate announcement? Or do you prefer to watch her lions cool while she waits at the altar? Will your highness take her place on the right? And now his majesty is ready. Your time is up, my friend. If you don't make the announcement, I will. With your permission, Your Excellency. I've been informed that certain events have delayed His Majesty. It might therefore be necessary to postpone this betrothal ceremony to a more opportune time. I understand, Your Excellency. Let us return to our chambers, Isabella. I trust I'm not late, Your Excellency. Well, cousin. I see you emerged unscathed from the strenuous events of my bachelor supper. <laughs> we are both men of exceptional capacity. <laughs> Forgive me, Your Highness. I was almost a casualty of our revelry. I'm pleased to see Your Majesty survived. Survived? I was magnificent. A Hercules on the battlefield of pleasure swimming through seas of champagne to reach your side. At least they didn't entirely prevent Your Majesty from appearing. Did Your Highness doubt I would ever fail to keep a rendezvous with a lady? Of course not. It might damage Your Majesty's reputation. The doubts of disapproval have already assured its removal. Let us not keep them waiting. They make a very handsome couple, don't you think, Prince? Are you going to let that imposter take vows in Lorenzo's name? He looks quite genuine to me. Can your highness prove that he isn't? <clears throat> Please kneel and join hands. Almighty God, Lorenzo, King of Mandaro, does herewith take in sacred betrothal Teresa, Princess of Corona. Before our Heavenly Father and this assemblage, they pledge to be joined by the vows of holy matrimony within this month. May the Holy Spirit protect them in safety, in purity and in love, during the days that shall pass before their final union, and for all their lives. Amen. Amen. Open the gate.
Flora. Oh. oh, Lorenzo, my darling. Oh, I've been so worried. <laughs> there was cause to be. But it appears I will survive. I would have come at once. Only they wouldn't tell me where you were. <laughs> I've been a state secret. Not until today was I able to send for you. I hope that wasn't a mistake. You know, Ramon could have had me followed. Perhaps. But he'll find me soon enough anyway when I return and hang him higher than the clock tower. At least he's won nothing, my darling. Thanks to DeLargo, the betrothal is secure. <laughs> yes. I'm quite indebted to our young Moroccan friend and Triano. But at the moment, you are more necessary to me than all the affairs of state. Mm. Only promise me one thing. Do be careful of Ramon. <laughs> you need the wings of a bat to fly over these walls. <laughs> As court physician, you should be more concerned for the health of your patient, Lopez. If you compel me to detain you much longer, it might work against the king's recovery. Where's Lorenzo hidden? Surely your highness knows the physician's oath. Guarding confidences is a cornerstone of our profession. Oh, I thought curing patients was more important than sharing in political conspiracies. You will note I aimed at Paris. Mandora's behind your head, doctor. Should I choose that as my next target, His Majesty may be deprived of your medicines indefinitely. <laughs> your Highness's medicine might prove more fatal than mine. Your Royal Highness, Excellence. Well, Colonel? The Countess Flower left in a closed carriage early this evening. And? She drove with His Majesty's secretary to the old arsenal about four kilometers from here through the forest. Well, uh, the answer to all our questions. Is the place well guarded? No more than four men, but the gates are strong enough to withstand an army, Your Highness. I know those gates. We'll need your assistance, Doctor, to open them. Major, escort the physician to a carriage. Open the gate, it's Dr. Lopez. Search the arsenal. Watch the gate, Corporal. Your pardon and your passport. I trust His Majesty won't mind the change of my destination from Portugal to Morocco. It's a small reward for so great a service, Carlos. I'd better leave tonight. By the same way I came. Yes, it would be best. Should you wish me to say your farewells to anyone, uh... Yes, Triano. I'd be glad if you would. Forgive me. I, I thought His Majesty was alone. He was about to be. If I may be excused, sire. I hadn't expected to see Your Highness tonight. Didn't you want to? No, Teresa. Because I knew if I saw you, there was something I'd have to tell you. That the king could hold me with both arms the next time we danced? What I have to say is not about the king. It's, uh... about another man. A stranger who happened to enter a house where he did not belong. And no one knew this man? They knew him. Or someone else. And he let them be deceived? Yes. Even the girl with whom he fell in love. But if she believed in him... He had no right to let her believe. Because he did not belong in this house and because he could not remain. I'm afraid you underrate this girl. You see, she knows the stranger now. This house was also occupied by a prime minister who found it difficult to keep the secret. Could you forgive a stranger who, like a brigand, stole your love? 
while he played the part of another. How can I forgive him when we're both guilty of the same crime? I was the more guilty. Because I've always known I'd have to disappear from your life. Like a shadow. To live for a few moments against the wall of your room. for the interruption, my princess. As I have just explained to the Prime Minister, the urgency of my business demands immediate attention. And I'm sure you gentlemen will forgive me. It might be better if Your Highness remained. The French ambassador's news concerns us all. I have been informed that Prince Raymond holds the real King Lorenzo at the arsenal. His Highness will answer for treason to the crown. Treason, sir? That's a curious word from a man who dared to substitute this imposter. I'm aware of the substitution and the reason for it, Monsieur de la Force. Prince Raymond, prepare the statement. Renouncing this illegal betrothal. I must urge you to sign it at once. Why should he, de la Force? To save Lorenzo's life. Even Ramon won't risk open murder to steal the throne. Your people will know only the king died of wounds received from a hunting accident. But your signature on this confession will have the same effect as a formal abdication. I have no such authority. And I will not succumb to this blackmail. You signaled your man to return to the arsenal? Naturally. I wanted to be sure that your answer was promptly delivered to Prince Raymond. And so I'm afraid your stubbornness has cost Lorenzo his life. Monsieur. You wish him confined, Excellency? No. Monsieur de la Force will remain here as my guest. But my immediate concern is for Lorenzo. And you think he's telling the truth? For once, yes. Are there no troops in Mandora to rescue the king? None we can trust. The secret of what we have done can be shared by no one beyond the walls of this room, Your Highness. You know the arsenal, Ruiz? As well as my own barracks. Then come with me. We're losing time. Carlos, I had hoped we would have no further need of your services. We promised at the betrothal Her Highness would marry Lorenzo. There's an old escape passage here that was used during times of siege. Where does it lead? Under the dry moat to a place within the walls. was always a very stubborn man. to his room. Good. Now when I'm on the tower, fire some shots. If there's anybody in Lorenzo's room, that should draw them out. Right. Good luck.
I offer you a passport to life, a chance to abdicate. If you sign, you may live wherever you choose. Outside of the palace, of course. <laughs> I've made it a practice never to sign any document that Triano has not approved. Oh, please sign, Lorenzo. I beg you. I have a certain attachment to my throne, Flora. From habit, I suppose. Even more than the very considerable pleasure of remaining alive. You should really take Flora's advice, cousin. For you see, we only have to reopen your wounds and my purpose is accomplished anyway. Uh, a trifle less legally, perhaps. I'll never... <laughs> well, you've made your choice, Lorenzo. No! 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 <laughs> Your Majesty. Who is it? Carlos de Lago. Flora. Can that door be locked from within? No, Ramon locked it from the outside. He'll return at any moment. to deliver you. Lorenzo? Lorenzo? So Triano had one trick left. Shotgun that fired in reverse.
Your Majesty. Ramon? You won't trouble Your Majesty now. I thanks the logo for defending the crown. the tailors were fitting you for a royal wedding instead of a trip to Portugal. He exploded like a grenade, Excellency. Better take shelter, sir. Excellency is in terrible. Oh, most terrible news indeed. Where's oh, yes, Cristiano? I think His Excellency has taken cover among the roses, Your Majesty. And if you two don't get away from me, I'm going to have you both beheaded. Yes, Your, Your Majesty. Majesty. Yes, I'd like Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Indeed, sir. Yes. Perhaps your highness can explain if Triano's gone completely mad, or have I? Forgive me, but his excellency is only carrying out my orders. As future queen of Mandora. Well, sometimes even a queen's wishes are not obeyed. You must realize our country also needs a king. <laughs> your highness must be forgetting who I am. I know that you're the last of the royal blood of the house of Mandora. And unless you do take the throne, I will have to follow you into exile as another royal princess once followed your father. Ten of an exile is not quite as comfortable as a palace. Perhaps we should break the curse of the Largos. Well, Ruiz? I know. I'll get the tailors at once, Your Excellency. <laughs> <laughs>